Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to um, Beanie Biker the Autistic Rider that is me so hello everyone bit of a, a wet day today cloudy roads are greasy so just heading into uh, town I could have walked but I couldn't be asked to walk in this weather so I've got to take the bike I'm not going to go straight in to town though because I'm not due to meet someone for another 45 minutes have a little ride around town for a bit and then uh, I'll park up Snow Hill and go meet my colleague have a meeting today with work see how that goes I have a new air filter that came down from uh, K&N that needs to go into this bike try and get that done sometime next week if possible so or I'll just hold on to it until it goes in for another service I'll just give in the uh, filter to them and I'll get them just to put it in so Which I think I might do because my service isn't going to be till about September October and the two trips I've got planned one of them is going to be a lot of off-roading well actually the second one might be quite a bit of off-roading as well so but I don't want um don't want to use a, a new filter now only have to replace it you know later on cool these roads are really greasy oh has there been an accident I think so somebody been hit I think they have uh, what a silly place to so she was pulling out, the red car decided not to let her out and overtook and obviously let's clip this woman here, am I right? Yep, yeah so she didn't have the patience to wait to let her pull out you can see where the car's already pretty much pulled out and then the other cars tried to overtake so that's a 50-50 that oh well it's expecting in this weather we, we always get crashes when it's wet it's ridiculous people just they don't look where they're riding or well, not riding but driving so no nod from him so no nod from me and what makes you laugh is that's like a 20 mile an hour road that where they've uh, hit each other the ring road into town all the towns 20 mile an hour now so they're crashing at 20 miles an hour kind of says it all there doesn't it you know speed kills yeah you're not going fast enough mate that's why you crashed I mean you can't say you can't see me mate LED lights I'm not a small bloke I'm not a fat one either I'm just broad in the shoulders and stuff so, all those years playing rugby, still have a broad chest, broad chest, slim waist. You have to do one lap around town at this rate. Take probably 20 minutes just to get through town. So it'll be basically one lap across the Weybridge and then to Snow Hill, park up and go meet my colleague. 
get this, uh, get this bloody meeting out of the way. Let's see if I'm going to be ambushed by management. Currently under investigation for unprofessional behaviour according to the police. So, but then if the police did their job properly, I wouldn't have had to give this uh, convict a warning. But supposedly that was unprofessional of me. So it doesn't help when the police aren't doing their job. And you'll probably see in a few of my videos where I've had police on camera and I've caught them out. first time I got a copper out was when I was doing security on the taxi ranks and this uh, this video actually went to uh, the media which they played and the police all closed ranks saying oh this isn't what this isn't what the police have said I basically caught a copper on camera saying uh, with regards to the illegal taxis over here people giving lifts and charging and stuff I asked this officer um, so when are you going to put a stop to this? And the police officer said, uh, nothing at the moment, we're waiting for somebody to crash and then insurance will get involved and then we'll wait for that to happen before we do anything. And that came from one of the officers. He, he didn't realise I was recording him. And um, I sent this into the, the taxi uh, union, the union for the taxi, whatever it is. Showed them the video, they were not happy. Um, and then released it to the media. Media asked the police officer by well, the police station, the, the head of the police saying, um, is this your view on these legal taxis? And then they turned around and said no. But obviously they all closed ranks because I caught the officer out. Second time was when it was snowing and the uh, police officer in an unmarked car leading up to the, the lights. I mean, where I am now looking at that light you can see it's red well I was probably about twice the distance away on the Esplanade so it's 40 mile an hour down there and it had been snowing this officer had seen the light and he carried on going straight across the road this video is up online you can see that and uh, nearly crashed into a, a white trade van that was uh, coming off the um, the westbound onto first tower so I gave in the video footage to show, I was unaware that this was the police at the time, gave in the video footage um, because they'd run a red light and nearly caused an accident and nothing happened with the driver and it was only after I'd posted it online somebody turned around and goes yeah that's the unmarked police car so that didn't surprise me that nothing got done there and then the third video with the police is when I got pulled over for speeding um, they got me doing 45 and a 30. Um, it was a blip of the throttle. That's again, you can see that on my video. And uh, the officer that pulled me had, I was explaining the situation, okay, the way I talk, it might not sound like, um, might sound like I'm being quite arrogant or cocky to an officer or whatever, but it's the way I talk. I can't change that. And I was saying to him, oh, some nice Ferraris in there. I was saying to him I was defensive riding and he goes there's no such thing I went yes there is I said um, I was doing the speed limit which was 30 and the vehicle in front of me kept braking on me for no for no reason whatsoever just just braking on me for no reason so I looked it was clear so I went ahead and it's being a still get in front of you so he pulled me, he ran my plates and everything, came back and said the bike wasn't mine when I'd owned that bike for nearly two years, which I bought from a dealership and the cheeky twat tried to remove the keys out of my ignition, which you can also see on the video. So I knocked his hand out of the way and I said no, this is my bike, what the fuck you think you're doing? 
and he said oh it's come back it's not registered to you I said no nah, you can piss off I'm going so I backed the bike up started the engine and rode off he then so then after they did get my details they went to my house and said to my wife um, where's your husband my wife wasn't going to tell them because I was at work supporting a 93 year old old lady with dementia and they also said well if he doesn't contact me before the end of my shift I'll do him for um, riding off from a police stop and I said yeah fine he can do whatever so I phoned him later on in the evening and he dropped that with me you know because I phoned him and I turned around and said okay but you still want to push this ticket I said fine send me the ticket I said I want uh, the certificate the calibration for that gun um, he refused to give that to me blatantly refused on the telephone I had that recorded um, I said fine um, I'll, I'll take it to uh, the parachute and if I have to I'll go to magistrate's court uh, you're refusing to give me the certificate for the calibration of that gun um, so I went to the parachute and it was uh, one of my old mates mums that's the sent near there uh, she recognized me when I came in and she said Stephen you got pulled over doing 45 in a 30 would you like to explain I said yes I would so she gave me the details saying you were caught doing 45 uh, 93 meters away I said well that's not true and she went what part I said uh, at 93 meters I said in the video, because I had the video footage with me, she went, what video? I said, I've got video footage, I'll show it to you. <coughs> I said, in the video, I'm at least 200 metres back um, from where I overtook this car. So I showed her the video, and I said to her, the officer refused to give me the certificate for the calibration of that gun. I said, as you can see, he said 93 metres, this is where I've overtaken, that's well that's a lot further back than 93 meters she agreed because they know that stretch of road it's their parish and um, I explained I was defensive riding I showed the video of me uh, having a break all the time because the vehicle in front of me was trying to bloody cause an accident so she put two lines through the uh, through the speeding fine and turned around and said to me um, two lines for it and wrote on it no further action now, when the officer found out, the state's police, when he found out this, that I wasn't getting done for it, he started bragging around the police station saying, um, oh yeah, I'm going to get him for something else then. And he openly bragged about that. What he doesn't realise is, I have people that work in the police station. So, I was told this. And now, the police are trying to screw me over in another way.